Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to install mods in BeamNG. Just before I get into the specifics, you need to know that there are two categories of mod for BeamNG. The first category are the officially approved mods that are found on the BeamNG repository. They've been thoroughly tested, checked for viruses and spyware, and only when they've been approved are they made available for download from the official website. The only downside to these mods, as far as I'm aware, are the fact that real life cars like Mercedes, Ford and Tesla are not allowed due to copyright laws. And the same goes for real life tracks. We can have lookalikes with different names, but that's about as good as we can get. So if you want the real life mods, then you have to brave it by going to third party websites. You know, the ones that your antivirus keeps warning you about and you have to take responsibility for virus checking the files and of course installing them manually. Now I'll show you that in a future video if you'd like to see that, but today I'm going to show you the more straightforward and safer method using the BeamNG repository. Well step one is to go to the BeamNG website and the main section here shows all of the latest mods. Now you notice on the right hand side there are star ratings and you can also click on any of these mods and read the reviews. There's opportunities in here to ask the mod developer questions about their mod. When you're happy with the one you wish to install, you have got different options. I would always recommend clicking the green subscribe button. This opens up BeamNG automatically and the mod will be automatically installed. To confirm this, once the game loads, click repository and we should see there that Volcano Canyon is being installed. Once that's done, we'll be able to go into free roam and you can see that the level is here ready to play on. Let me know in the comments how you get on and I'd be interested to know some of your favourite mods. Which mods would you recommend for other members of the BeamNG community? Well, that's going to do it today. Thank you so much for watching. If you learned something, then leave me a like and of course subscribe if you're new. But most importantly, have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.